Hi! Today we will uh, discuss uh, the problems on 2 Watt meter method under the lesson of polyphase systems. So before we proceed with the lesson uh, or the uh, discussion here, uh, if you want to have a copy of these problems, you can go to the description link that is uh, uh, that you can see on the, on on the on this video, and then from the uh, from the description link or description tab, there will be a link there, and then from that link you can see the main problems and the supplementary problems. Okay, now let us uh, solve problem number one, and this is the problem. Okay, we can read it first. A balanced three-phase load has a line current of 120 amperes at a 230 volt line to line. And it has a power factor of 0.848 lagging. If the two watt meters are used to measure the power being drawn by this system, what are the watt meter readings, which is W1 and W2 respectively? Okay, this is the solution. We have two solutions in this problem. By the way, before we attack the problem, let us see if the problem is in terms of balance and unbalanced condition. Now, it's clear in this problem, there's, uh, it's not mentioned the currents and the voltages or the loads. It is a straightforward uh, problem. So, it means that this problem is, a, is in balance condition. Since it is not stated on the problem, the different condition, uh, different voltages and currents or even impedances. Okay, let us have the given. You have the line current 120 amperes. Uh, line voltage is 230 volt. Power factor is 0.848 lagging. So in this case, uh, we can get the angle here. Okay, by having the inverse of the power factor. So, we done this one, okay, during our power factor correction on the previous lessons. So, hence, without uh, further ado, okay, we can now use this equation. By the way, this is plus, okay, sorry for that, this is a plus. So, we can recall the following uh, formulas on the ballast condition. First, Pt is equal to W plus W2. Qt is uh, square root of 3. W1 minus W2. And we can recall Pt as Vl times Il times power factor. So, this is in terms of balanced polyphase. So, in this case, we can directly substitute your Pt or your power. As square root of 3, 230 volt times 120 times 0.848. Now we have the value of 40.54 kilowatts. And hence, based from our uh, first equation for total power, we can have uh, PT is 40.54 kilowatt and then equal to the watt meter readings W1 and W2 respectively. We can have that as our first equation. Now we can also use this equation here. So I presented all of the equations so that you can have an idea. Uh, the uh, tangent theta, which is uh, QT all over PT, which is square root of 3, W1 minus W2, all over W1 plus W2. But this one is all be very obvious that we already computed, which is your total power. And angle theta is already computed as well as 32 degree. So what will happen? The square root of 3, W1 minus W2, all over 40.54K. Just get this W1 minus W2, since that is the variables that we are uh, finding in this uh, uh, problem. So, we have here W1 minus W2 and get the numerical value of tangent 32 over square root of 3 and then multiply by 40.54, the answer 14.63K. Now, we have equations 1 and 2. We, we, need, we need to solve or we need to solve them simultaneously, equations 1 and 2 respectively. And using our calculators, using the ship solve function, or using a little bit of algebra, of course, you have W1, 27.59 kilowatt, and W2 is equal to 12.95 kilowatt. So let us see the shortcut solution on the next slide. Okay, let us uh, have the uh, uh, chip solution, ah. problem number one, or the shortest solution for the 
uh, for the first problem on 2 watt meter method under the lesson of polyphase systems. So let us have a recall or recap what is the given on the problem. We have IL120, VL230 volt, power factor is 0.848 and getting the cosine inverse of that power factor, we have 32 degree and since that is lagging, we have a positive value of 32 degree. Now the uh, GPIP solution of this problem is using these formulas of W1 and W2 respectively. So what will happen is just substitute all of these values here to this equation. And thus, what will happen is W1 is 230 times 120 cosine of 30 minus 32. And then W2 is equal to 230, 120 times cosine of 30 plus 32. And it will yield automatically on these answers. 27.59 kilowatt and 12.95 kilowatt respectively. Now, in this case, how about if the answer becomes a negative value, for example, you need to carry it over on the solution. Please take note, in order to, okay, in order to check this one, okay, your power total, if you add W1 and W2 respectively, it will yield with the answer previously, which is 40.54 kilowatt, and that will be checked. Now, if that is negative, that is negative 27.59 plus 12.95, okay, and then you need to sum it up. You need to carry over the sign, okay, if there is a negative value, that will have uh, that will be uh, uh, computed on W1 and W2 respectively. So in this case, we st we have both of them as positive. Then we need to add PT, which is W1 plus W2. And again, we have a correct answer. Check simply because okay, it yields with 40.54 kilowatt. We will answer problem number two on the next slide. Hi and good day to all of you again. So we will continue our discussion on two watt meter methods and we are already on problem number two. Let us read the problem first. A three phase purely resistive load draws 7.53 amperes at a 230 volt three phase supply. If two watt meter methods are used to measure this power, find the reading of each watt meter in watts. Okay, again, this problem, it's not mentioned the uh, voltage phasers and current phasors. So you're considering here, a balance load. Okay, now if that is a balance load, you have the luxury of using the formulas that we have used on problem number one and on the basic fundamentals. So here, the given is power factor is one, and please take note, it's mentioned the problem that the uh, load is purely resistive, and that is uh, power factor is equal to one, the voltage and current angles are in phase. Hence, the angle is definitely zero degree. Now, you can recall these equations here because W1 and W2 is the, is the required on the problem. So, we have VLIL cosine 30 minus theta and VLIL cosine 30 plus theta. However, okay, both of the angles theta here is zero. And hence, you can see now that W1 and W2 is simply equal to each other and having an equation of VLIL cosine 30. By the way, if you can still recall the power factor indicator, that if you have a power factor equal to 1, this is just a recall on the power factor indicators on the basic fundamentals, it's clear that W1 and W2 is equal to each other, which is correlates in this problem. And hence, substituting all of the values to 30, 7.53, and cosine 30 degree, and using your calculators, we will have the value of 1,500 watts for W1 and W2, respectively. Now we, we can now go to problem number three. Stay tuned. Hello once again. So let us uh, con continue our uh, discussion on problem number three under the uh, topic of two watt meter methods and on lesson 
four, which is polyphase systems. Let us read the problem first. A balance three wire three phase system. The load power is measured using two watt meter method, and the ratio of the two watt meters is two by one or two column one. What is the power factor of the load? Okay, now in this case we have the given first we need to we need to have the given of the watt meter ratio which is two by one two is to one so the required is power factor now this problem is a very easy problem if you know the formula of course so we go back to the uh, formula of uh, tangent theta please recall that this is uh, an example of a balanced condition so hence you have here tangent theta is equal to square root of 3, W1 minus W2 over W1 plus W2. If we assume that the ratio of W1 over W2 is 2, but 2 is to 1, hence we have W1 is equal to twice of W2. So for this, guys, we can now substitute W1 or equation number 2 to equation number 1, respectively. So equation number 1 is this tangent theta equation here. So if you do so, uh, we have... Tangent theta is square root of 3, 2 W2 minus W2 all over 2 W2 plus W2. W2 will cancel out and we will have square root of 3 over 3. And getting the inverse of that tangent, we can have a value of 30 degree. Please take note of the uh, sign because the sign will dictate if that is lagging or leading. So since this is positive, we consider that the condition of the power factor is lagging. But if negative, we're considering a leading power factor condition. Hence, that is positive cosine 30 is 0.866. And thus, the condition is lagging condition. So, very, very easy problem. Okay, let us have one example more for unbalanced condition for uh, two watt meter methods. 